I'm shook you weren't in here playing with your little toys. Yeah, with your little scout and stuff. Yeah. You see him? He's going to go for his little scout. Hey. Can you think of something yellow? I'm thinking of the sun. Yellow. I like the sun. It's interesting how, like, everything gets picked up. I have to clean this room. This is a perfect time for you to get up. So I've reorganized this room. And I don't know how I feel about it. But I'm thinking because this little man is growing and getting out and just starting to move. This is looking cute. I have a bunch of clothes here. But having this sofa here and then the crib over there. Because of that shelf. When I had the sofa here, that shelf would get so terrible. And then stuff would just get stuck in that nook. And I'm thinking, I, I just can't deal with that because it's it would get so dusty. And then when we put these curtains up, <laughs> there was spiders there. So that was really scary. So that's why I'm just uh, thinking I need it with more open little space. Thinking about getting an activity mat like the one that we have in the living room over here. Or maybe like a nice little rug because we don't need a little activity mat and just this one because he's loving that one. Um, and just have that one there 100% of the time. He would just enjoy that. Would you like him? Isn't it nice? He'll be coming around the corner when he comes. He'll be coming around the corner when he comes. Orlando! Orlando! Oh my gosh. That might not be cold to some people, but for us North Carolinians, that is cold. <laughs> so I'm debating whether I should go out there and walk with Orlando because like I said, it's cold. <laughs> and also I skipped my workout of walking out around the loop yesterday because it was like kind of rainy and there was no one out here and I did not want to walk by myself. So I kind of like skipped it. So instead I went home and I did a workout. Well, I am sore because I decided to be a like, oh, I got this and skip the two minute stretch session. And as the day progressed, I started feeling sore in my legs and then sore in my arms. And this morning when I had to do my little waking him up and nursing him at 3 a.m. and then at 6 a.m., I was like barely moving around, getting him out of the crib, nursing him. And then I had to like... Like, I was like, I cannot sleep in this chair. I have got to go and and get in there. And I'd have to go back to the bed and uh, sleep on the bed because I was like, I can't sleep on the couch and like wait for him to like, to hear him. I was like, oh my God, this is so like, it's so bizarre. I'm so sore. I did not think that workout was gonna hit me that hard. I did the 30 minute workout versus the walk just because I skipped it. So, it's either go home and work out or do a rest day and like do this loop. So I'm gonna have to do it at 31 degrees. So commitment, 2023, we got this, we got this. So I have to say once I got out, it wasn't so bad. Just got out of the car, 31 degrees doesn't seem awful. But then once you start walking, you actually feel it on your face and how cold it is. And I was like, I can't put him in the stroller and do that. There's no way I'm gonna walk that loop. So I have him on the little carrier. You can't even see him. He's in there playing with a little toy. That's so cute. We reached another level of amazingness over here. Commitment. 2023, we're coming for you. We're reaching the milestones and them goals, huh? Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> you think mommy's crazy? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so cute. It's hard to feel cold out here. Like I definitely feel it in my nose. It's a piercing to feel cold, so it's like, ah! We're going. We're halfway point reached, right? I'm gonna walk half of a mile because uh, he's attached to me, so it's like double the whammy. I'm out of breath and it's cold, but I will say this is something new. We've reached a new status, huh? Look. So cute. So cute. What are you saying? Dad, we're leaving and I think we walked about 15 minutes. Oh, so that's wonderful. Right? I feel like I could have probably kept going, but then, you know, I have to make sure I'm not frozen. So that I can hold Orlando and put him back in the uh, car seat and then also put myself in the car. But I got about 15 minutes in, which is quite a few steps, and I did half a mile. Which I can't, you know, it can get him extremely tired. So we have to pick our battles and choose and do all those things. So I feel like that was an accomplishment. My hands are like really cold. So I'm going to sit here for a second and try to warm up before we head home. But other than that, I think that was a win-win. I'm gonna go home, shower, get ready for a parent-teacher meeting that I have to do today at Sebastian's school to see how he's doing. So I can't believe that it's already coming up, which means it's like really close to, you know, ending a semester and spring break and all those things. Yes, Mr. Man, I hear you. You did wonderful. His cheeks were starting to get red and I could tell mine are cold and his cheeks were starting to get cold even though he wasn't cold. So I was like, yeah, it's, it's definitely time to go. But anyways, that's what we're doing. My hands are a little pink because it was like so cold. But other than that, I think it was wonderful. I think it was a wonderful walk. Would I do that again? Yes, I think I would. I would do that again because I feel like I got the workout in and I was able to stay warm and I was able to keep Orlando warm too. So I think it was a win-win situation. It wasn't awful. I don't have lotion. And my hands are like really dry. I thought I had lotion in here. Tell me in the comments down below. During the winter time, do your lips and your hands get extremely dry? And someone in the comments might say, oh, it's because you don't drink enough water. Come sit with me for a day and tell me I don't drink enough water. I know that's not it. It's either A, we have hard water, so the water that we use to wash our hands and like all that just dries us out because it's hard water, or it's just that wind is so cold that it's like going to crackle everything. Like, oh my god. But yeah, I gotta go put lotion on because my skin is just like, I can feel it. It needs some moisture to it. Anyways, with that being said, let me go figure out what I can do. Once I get home, I have a bunch of things that I need to do, including getting myself ready for the day because this is just like my workout session. Oh, my arms, they hurt. They hurt. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> it won't end. What is it? It won't end. I forgot to mention, the reason why we decided to go for the walk and not like chicken out because I literally was this close to chickening out and like just saying forget it I'm going back home was because Orlando needed a diaper change and I heard it you know what that means you know what that means so I had to take him out of the car seat so that I could clean him up and it not get all over the car seat and then that's what pushed me <laughs> because I was this close to going back home okay I'm done <laughs> I thought I forgot my card <clears throat> looking like Steve Jobs today <laughs> with the turtleneck sweater. I do not feel like being home because I know I have a lot to do, but I have to get like a couple of things for the house as well. Basically, somebody's teeth are coming in and it was a very rough night. 
So instead of staying home and moping, which I thought about because I was like, I'm going to stay home and like figure out what I need to do. This is after dropping Sebastian off at school. I was like, I'm going to stay in my pajamas, do this, do that. And I'm, I'm I would, that's, that was my mindset this morning. Just come back home after dropping Sebastian off at school and putting my pajamas on and just staying home, right? Going to sleep, maybe doing, I guess, all the things that I need to do, like loading the laundry, folding the clothes. And then I decided, no, no, that's not what I'm doing. I'm going to put on a pair of jeans. I've been putting on a pair of jeans every single day for like the past week or so because, um, hold on. <laughs> for a second, just look at this glow. The sun is on me and like just the perfect, but now it's behind a cloud. <laughs> I don't think Dollar Tree realizes how much money it misses out on because it doesn't open at 8. Like, I think there's been three, four, including myself, but I've been sitting here in the parking lot because we're open, like, nobody called. Have gone by to see if it's, like, open and they it's closed, so they just keep rolling by. Okay. I'm using... Oh, let me see if I can fix this angle. There's that glow again. So the sun is literally right there but hopefully it's not behind like a cloud okay so basically what I was saying is I could have stayed home and wow you're just gonna do me like that it's a mirror in the sun hold on <laughs> at the angle that it's at you're just gonna have to deal sorry basically what I was trying to say I just got done with breakfast is I could have stayed home and moped around about how tired and exhausted I was from staying up all night with a teething baby and I could have dropped off like not gonna lie it crossed my mind this morning to not even take Sebastian to school <laughs> because I was so tired I was like how am I gonna get him like I was legit on this like so sad like how am I gonna get him ready get Orlando ready because even though I just take him to school I do have to get myself like I can't leave the house like you know how some people leave the house in pajamas sometimes which no shade I've done that before as well like if I'm extremely tired I have done that trust me newborn stage like I get it I know I've been one of those moms too but once he gets into like the groove of being like older and like months old I can't do that like I have to actually uh, get myself ready for the day it, it, whether it's going to the morning for a walk or going to like go to the treadmill in the gym like I have to put myself ready whether that's workout clothes or going clothes or like clothes to go to the office it's even if I'm not going to the office just because it's like the mindset that I'm in I feel like in order for me to feel good I have to prepare myself and get myself ready otherwise I go down this run and get like depressed so I cannot do that so I thought to myself I could literally stay home with Orlando and Sebastian and not get Sebastian ready for school and then just stay home at this point it's like 7 24 we usually leave the house like we have to leave by 7 45 I mean we have to leave by that time so by that time by 7 20 ish I already have the car on it's warming up and then we're about to get in the car every, everybody's ready to go and I'm sitting there still thinking to myself am I gonna be able to do that and get up and I'm not gonna lie whenever the alarm wakes you up abruptly I don't know if anyone else feels like this way it like it's like traumatizing to your brain <laughs> at least it is to mine like I feel like I need to um slowly get up in order to be able to feel good about myself and feel like I'm gonna have a productive day so that happened I think if it, that wouldn't have happened I would have stayed home with Sebastian with Orlando it would have been like a snuggle day for sure but because of the alarm like I guess not sounding off again and then me just slowly trickling waking back up I was able to be in a good mood and I was like I'm gonna get myself dressed I th I stayed in my pajamas I seriously did and then uh, I was putting my pajama pants back on and I was like you know what it's not gonna be one of those days where I'm like moping around about how sad I am I need to get things done so I put on a pair of jeans I put on my Steve Jobs turtleneck black sweater and I was like, let me see all the things that I need to do, which I need to make a list. We need to go to the pharmacy because we need to get more Motrin. Last night, that is what saved me. Like whenever um, Orlando woke up, I was like, okay, he's just really mad. I was like, how long did he cry before I woke up and realized that he was upset? So at first I thought it was my, my fault. I was like, oh my God, like I didn't wake him, like I didn't wake up in time. And now he's like really PO'd at me. 
So then I was like, okay, took me a couple tries, realized I couldn't nurse them. And I was like, oh my God, no, he's, he's in pain. So then I had to get up and give him some Motrin and it wasn't until the Motrin kicked in that he was actually able to take a nap. And I was like beat by that point. And not gonna lie that it was like, he was up and down, up and down. Like I think every single hour it felt like, oh my gosh, it was so stressful. And this was after I gave him the medicine and it kicked in and he was like, okay, look, I think I'm feeling a little bit better now. But still, it was just, oh my gosh, it was so tiring last night. Whew, talk about a mental workout. So this morning I told myself I've got to get things done. I need to go to the grocery store to get some veggies because we're out of fresh items. I need to go to the Dollar Tree just because for my sanity. <laughs> I need to go to the Dollar Tree just to look around and see what they have. And then I need to go to the pharmacy to pick up more Motrin because... My man needs some, um, he needs some Motrin just in case he gets really, really upset. And I don't like doing that, but let's be real. Like, to all the people that are like, I don't like giving my baby medicine. Ah. Okay, if you had a toothache because you had a tooth coming in, I guess you forgot what that feels like. But it hurts like a, and I don't want him to stress out like that or feel like he's in so much pain. So I'm not going to let him... You know, just because I'm, like, one of those, like, oh, I'm not going to let him have medicine, like, have him struggle like that. Like, that hurts. It's kind of like, I don't know if you've ever had a toothache. It hurts, like, a lot. And, uh, I can only imagine how much it hurts a little baby. Like, if answer the call. Someone's calling me. My babe. So early today. It's not even funny. Like, what the hell? I've never seen this parking lot so empty. There's people waiting outside. Look at that grandpappy right there. He, like, open the door. And then where's the grandmammy? Can't see her. She's somewhere over there. They're like, open the door, Costco. Open. Oh, 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 oh. They're opening the door. It's time to go shopping. We're going shopping, Karen. We're going shopping at Costco. <laughs> Joke. Look at all the people trickling into Costco waiting for them to open their doors. Look at that. Oh my god, you would think that they would be giving out like free groceries. <laughs> Anyways, we're here. <laughs> Grocery shopping at Costco <laughs> with my Steve Jobs turtleneck sweater. Even though I had a rough night last night. Here we go. <laughs> It's always a shocker when we come in here, huh? It's always so interesting because all of the lights. We're just leaving Target. I think Target is like the most overrated store. I'm not gonna lie. Are you doing good down there? He's like having the time say that Target is the most overrated place. I see everyone's videos, like always, where it's like, oh my god, Target, Target, Target. Okay, maybe unpopular opinion. I don't know whose feelings it's gonna hurt, but maybe it's just my Target. Every single time I come here, it's such a disappointment. <laughs> there was nothing that I was just like, oh, even the Target spot is like bare. Like there's nothing there. The Valentine's Day stuff are like scattered all over the store. I went in to look for a present for my niece and it was like so indecisive because the stuff, I don't know if it's because it's out of season or we're in a weird state right like now because the weather is like, it's still warm. It's like 60 degrees outside, but yet it's winter. So it's like they've already got their summer stuff out. You go down the same aisle and it's like bathing suits and then literally in the corner, it's like winter coats. So maybe it's just ours. And then also I wanted to get the nitro cold brew at the Starbucks because we have a Starbucks inside of our um, our Target and they were like oh our, tar our, our nitro cold brew machine is broken or isn't working so would you just like a rather regular cold brew and I don't know I panicked <laughs> does anyone have anxiety whenever they order something and so I got the dragon drink I'm not gonna lie it was the first time I've ever had it would I get it again no thank you and also why do they put so much ice in this like I swear I've been literally waiting for the ice to melt so that I can actually drink it it's not that good I don't know maybe it's just me unpopular opinion 
I'm getting nothing. The Dollar Tree. You can't barely see it, but yeah, that's where we're at. I'm ho hopefully finding a gift bag because I got the cutest little Cookie Monster bag for Nova's birthday. Mm -hmm.